All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video. And today we are here on Pandora at the Ascension Bluff. So you spawn in right here. And basically what you want to do is hop in a car or maybe have a snow drift. And just come over here to where the legendary hunt is. I'm going to get in a vehicle. Oh man, it's rough driving this. And then the enemy we're looking for is the Scrack. Alright, and he did not drop the item we're looking for, so I will cut and come back to when he does. Alright, and we got one to drop. Awesome. Let me just... Really quickly. Alright, and let's take a look at it. Alright, and we got a shotgun too. That's pretty nice. So, it's a COV pistol, and... It has, like, a lot of graffiti on it, which is honestly kind of cool. I do like that. It is much better than it saying, you know, this just being like black or gray or something. Let me see. Uh, does it like change depending on the element? Because there's a lot of blue on here and this is a shock. That could just be a coincidence. I don't know. But yeah, really cool skin. Uh, it's red text is get back spithead. So what that means is this weapon is burst fire. It launches one to three explosive projectiles of its own corresponding element. Okay. And I believe that happens every seven or eight shots or so. Well, I guess after every burst. But yeah, as you guys can see, it launches. Okay, there was three that time. That time was only one. So yeah, this weapon is pretty good because you get it very early on. Smashy, and smashy. when I was doing my playthrough of Bale 3, this weapon brought me 10 levels above. So yeah, every 10 levels I'd come back and get one and it would just last. It was really good, especially like a fire one on Moe's. But yeah, let us go and use this out on some bad guys. All right, so I'm here at Carnivora and I should have got rid of the counter. I totally forgot all about it, my bad. Okay, first things first. Revolter. Take off the Minesweeper and take off the Pearl. A fire one would probably be better on those, but we'll see how it does. So yeah, you're pretty much going to get most of the damage, I believe, from the explosive-like pellets. Where are you? Hiding behind the crate? Oh my god. If I can aim. So yeah, as you guys can see though, those like explosive pellets or bullets, those are the real like money makers, the real damage makers. Probably going to be a blast master. I don't think the weapon mag size matters here, so I'll go shield capacity. And then let's try a COV company man and see how that works. I'm not sure if the blast master class bond is going to be best in this situation or what. If 
But yeah, as you guys can see, it's doing pretty well. And like I said, it's pretty easy to get and you can get it super early on. So let us go and try it now on a boss. And I think instead of Grave Ward, I'm going to go to my second option, which is General Trant. So I will cut and come back once more. All right, so I'm basically here outside of General Trot's arena. And now I think instead of a COV, I'm going to try a Pearl. I don't... Uh, it don't really matter, I guess. Okay, I'm going to get it closer. Just for kicks, why not try? Oh, I wonder if those count as grenade damage. The, like, exploding pellets. Hold on, let me see if I can look it up real quick. Uh, every seventh shot, the Skexel launches one to three rockets that explode on impact dealing splash damage. Um, no, I think, well, we could try it out, right? I think the Blast Master is better. I can't even see where that guy is. Also, is my Guardian rank on? Oh, is. Okay, may have to do part two on it. Uh, whoops. That should not have been on. All right, now it is definitely doing not as good on General Trot, at least. Still doing good on the other guys. Also, did I get an anoint on it? Auto bear. Okay, don't care about that. Not a good anoint. But yeah, there you go, guys. That was pretty much today's review on the Skexil. Does pretty good with the mobbing. The bossing is a little iffy. It may work better on another character. I'm not really too sure. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help on my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then let me know, did I use this weapon correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't, make sure to tell me, be like, hey, you used it wrong because of this and that. What you should have done was this and that instead, and it would have made it work better. Uh, but yeah, all I really can say for now is, I hope to see you guys next time.